one fight. What's going on? What's going on? Greetings and blessings, man. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum, brother Daquan. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, How's your day been going today, man? Uh, it's going, man. It is going, man. I'm grateful for every day the most I give me. All praises for sure, yes. Yeah, right now, <laughs> it's, isn't it about 9 o'clock your time? Let me see here. I believe it is. 9.03, man. Yeah. Yeah. Been busy, man. Yeah. Been doing it since, since, been doing it since the a.m. My mom's at my house. He drove uh, four hours from Toronto. I'm all up in the capital city, Ottawa, Canada. Yes, yes sir. Um, I got to go grab my boys after work, so yeah, I'm a two sons here with me too. So I just had to break away for a minute. Come, come get at you. Just yeah, come bro. Get at you, man. Because I was looking at the time. Yeah. It was like he said eight. You know, and it's nine now. Me personally, when I get up, I get up at four. 30 five days a week and i work mm-hmm. 40 hours and then i have another job where i work i would say about 40 to 50 hours within two weeks so i work full time and then i have a part-time job and i'm married i have children mm-hmm. And I do exhortation every day. So my life is nonstop. As much as I'm doing, I still have time to break away and to talk about the things of God. Because the things of God is priority in my life. And I'm so grateful because I have a wife that understands um, that God is first. And many of us, we 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 don't want to admit it, but a lot of us are not in that place where you could you could break away. I'm just I'm just being honest, man. I'm I'm 41 years I'm 41 years old. I'm correct. I'm I'm 41 years old, and I'm a grown man. I'm not a child, and I know for a fact that I know. That my life has to be prioritized, and first things first. Um, that's 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 God. It, it, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, man. Because when you don't have a strong woman in your life, and you don't have a a strong foundation, let's say you are married, then you don't have that liberty to break away and do the things you want uh, for the Most High. Because it's like you're serving that wife or if you have a job where you don't know how to let your job know um, God is first, <laughs> then you're going to you're going to. And if you have children, it's the same thing. You don't know, you know, how to run your castle. You got to make sure that God is first. Um, I've been married about going on nine years and. Every time it's about the most high, it's about the most high. I've never had any issues. I never had any arguments um, when a phone call pop up or when I had to go and do something for the most high. I could be doing a two, three hour message, one hour message, doing about four or five messages. I ain't going to never hear nobody tripping about that. You see what I'm saying? And it's a lovely place to be in, man. And. We talked about a bunch of different things, and I'm trying to pull up my phone because I have two phones. Okay. I have a yeah. phone that is paid for, and it's actually connected to the rest of the phones on my lines, and it's strictly House of David. Like when you text me, you're not even texting my personal phone, you're texting a phone that is entitled House of David, and it is unlimited text unlimited uh internet and is dedicated solely to the ministry and and that's just to let you know you know how serious this thing is so i want to go to my messages because there was a message that came through 
and I'm looking at it. Yeah, matter of fact, it was like uh, greetings and blessings, Brother Daquan. How is my brother doing? I pray you have a blessed day in the Lord, rightfully so. He shall not give his glory to another, but of those whom he predestined to be in the image of his son, being the first of many sons. Now, that right there is what I have an issue with. Because when you type in predestined. Yeah. All right. When you. Well, you there's the only one person. Okay. Who talks about pre predestination yeah. in the Bible? And we, we live. So you ain't got time to go to Google. I just want to see if what you know. Who talks about predestined in the Bible? Uh, would, it, would it be Paul? Who else? Uh, yeah, Paul. What do, you, what do you mean predestined? Like just that using who, that word or like that the word? Who uses animation? Who uses the term predestination? Who uses the term predestinated? Rather, all I got is Paul right now. Uh, that yeah, I can go, man, so, he's the only yeah. person. That talks about predestination. Jesus never talked about predestination. The Father God Almighty never talked about predestination. There's one person who talks about predestination. No other disciples talk about predestination. Now the Bible says let everything be confirmed in the mouth of two or three witnesses. So if one apostate or apostle, you might say he's apostle, if one prophet rather is talking about one thing, how is that confirmed if he's the only one talking about it? He's the only person talking about predestination. No other prophet is talking about it. Now, the, the term do not commit adultery. That is in Moses law. That was talked about with Jesus. That was talked about with the prophets. That is something that didn't nobody make up. That's something that is very clear. Do not commit adultery is all through the Bible. It's not a, a confusion. But predestinate is new. That is something that only came through Paul. So he talks about it. It says, it says, but of those whom he predestinated to be in the image of his son being the first of many sons, where do you get, where do you have scripture coming from God almighty in the Bible talking about that? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> One second. Let's see if we can find something here. <clears throat> so you want to know about the basically Predestination. What like, I, you want to know? What is it that you? My question. Other than that, Paul, my question was clear. What reference? What reference you have from God Almighty, where He is talking about predestination? Okay. From God Almighty. Well, I don't know if it would be from God Almighty, but are, aren't all scriptures? Do you believe that the scriptures are inspired by the Word of God? No, the only person who told us that is the same person who told us about predestination. So then, well, then, 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 Daquan, then, Daquan, you eliminate me telling you that the men of God were inspired by God to write these words and that the words actually do belong to God. No, what I asked you was, was there any reference in the Old Testament where God is talking about predestination? God doesn't do stuff new. There's nothing new under the sun. If if there's a prophet, he is also speaking in line with what Moses said. Could a could a person come along and just teach their own thing without having foundation in the scriptures? No. So what I'm saying is, bro, you 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 you, you giving me what Paul said, but where does God talk about predestination in the thick part of the Bible? The thick part. That's all okay, new. Well, I can't. 
I can give you the knowledge in the scriptures of the men who wrote in the scriptures, who wrote the scriptures in their story time and what they had wrote and say that God had spoken to them. Same as the prophets, all of this, right? Because you No, the prophets the is different. The prophet? You can't compare hold the on, prophets to on. the New Testament. Because well, well, the well, prophets Paul, spoke with on, us and the Lord. Hold on. I get that. So if Paul, if Paul's knowledge is coming from the Torah and the prophets and the Psalms, all right, because remember, there's, um, that's all they had was the Torah, all right, the, the, the books of the prophets up to Malachi and the Psalms, David and, and, and Solomon. The Proverbs and the and the, uh, and the Proverbs, the Psalms and the Proverbs. That's all he had. So he or, or and and plus the other books. Or I could go into right. They had the writings of Enoch, which is what I'm going to go into right here in a second. All right. What do you mean by the writings of and Enoch? Is, Why is we bringing Enoch, up Enoch, seventh, man? The seventh, Enoch, the seventh grandson from from Adam. Okay, but why are we going into the book of Enoch? The book of Enoch is not standard scripture. <laughs> That's not even accepted in the Israelite community. Most of them don't even accept the book of Enoch. They'll just go from they'll what go is, from the is, standard 1611 what, King James Bible. Is, why is you why is you going into a strange book? We're talking about the Torah and the prophets. The, the, real, the real question is the real question is what does that have to do with me what other people accept when it comes to what I deem as the word of God when when hold on Daquan when if I were to really break it down and ask you for real, for real, you don't believe a word in the Bible. That is true. No, bro. So I asked Bible, you a question, so, simple and plain, and you beating around and the I'm, bush. I'm going to get to No, I'm not going to be. I'm, I just want to know what you're ex, what's acceptable because you said you want to hear from the word of God. What I want to know is, do you believe that the men, the prophets, those who wrote the scriptures of the Torah, Moses, David, Solomon, all of them, do you believe what they wrote is inspired and is the word of God? Because if you don't, then there's no answer for you. Well, you just look at what you're saying. I'm asking you from something from the Torah and the prophets. Okay. I'm asking you something from the Old Testament. I said the thick part of the Bible. And now you're talking okay. about Enoch, and now you're trying to compare <laughs> Paul to the prophets. Right. The prophets spoke, thus no, saith the Lord. Paul never said that. Nobody said none of that in the New Testament. Okay, but That's what I'm trying to get you to then, say. Before, so before, before you said the thickness of the book, then I, I must have misunderstood when you said you wanted to hear from the Lord. Because the Most High will say, go and tell my people Israel thus and thus, thus saith the Lord. But... I don't know if there's scriptures where the Most High says, I predestined this, I predestined that. I'm just going based on the knowledge of the You're men. You're going by Paul, book. man. You're going by one All person. Right, so, so to answer the question where Paul pulled the knowledge and the wisdom from, because it's not to the word, to the letter, my friend. It's where he pulled the wisdom from to be able to write what he wrote. He, that's What are you okay. talking about? Paul talked about man's wisdom. He's the only one that talks about man's wisdom. That was his wisdom. You don't have any legs to stand on. You don't have any ground to stand on. You ain't got nothing coming from God Almighty where he is talking about predestination. But you got it from Paul and you saying he pulled that from the most high. But yet the most high doesn't talk about it in the thick part of the Bible. Can I get to it? You're, at, you're, at, you're, you're quoting Romans 8, right? Yeah, that's what you sent me. You sent me Romans okay. 8 out of nowhere. I didn't ask okay. about it. You sent me this and I'm okay, like, I'm gonna give, okay. Okay, let me, I'm going to give I'm going to give you the answer. All right, hold on one second here. I just want to, let me get it up. I'm looking at my phone here too. So, what, what? What day was that? Was that messaging that I sent you? You have it on your phone still? Yep, it was Monday, six forty-three a.m. my time. And, okay, uh, I sent you Roman. It was it was quite some time, but probably about a couple weeks because it's not telling me the actual date, but it is time stamped. Okay, I sent you Isaiah. Okay, I got it here. I sent you Isaiah forty-two. Yeah, you sent me Isaiah forty-two. <clears throat> 
Romans, yeah. Ephesians. Yeah. Mostly Paul is what you sent me, brother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm just trying to find out where is that in the thick part of the Bible, predestination to the okay. image of his son and all that glory, glory. That has nothing to do with Isaiah 42 at all. A wise person would not even precept those two scriptures together. And 23. So Romans, I'm just trying to find the verse in Romans. I want to hold it here. All right. That's going to be Romans chapter 8, verse 29, my brother. Or verse 30, both of them. Predestination. So, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestine to be conformed to the image of his son, right? That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So he's talking about the 144,000. No, it don't say 144,000, bro. Why are you doing that? Why does it have to say for you to not know? You have to know the whole book. You got to be precept upon precept, Yatiel. And I noticed that about you, bro. You're not very, you're not in the word. Like you, you said you've been in the word since you was a little boy, but you really don't know the scriptures like that. It do not say anything about 144,000. Even your own Christians would disagree with you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When the scriptures speak of the elect, who are the elect? No, 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 no. We we stand right here. No, we stand no, right on, here. Don't don't start ducking and getting in the ropes. Want, don't start it, leaning on the ropes. On. Don't start leaning on the ropes. Okay, we we stand that's right one. here at where we that's at. One. That's we one. right here in Romans twenty eight, Romans eight twenty nine to eight thirty. Loud. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> you getting loud over me doesn't do anything, man. I'm not getting loud. I haven't even yeah, got loud yet. Man. You know oh nothing about goodness. me. I haven't got loud. We're okay, in a ring one. and you're on the that's ropes. That's, that's you're talking one. about whom the elect. Can you give me, elect can you is give in the me, Bible. Can, elect is a term that's in the Old Testament and the New Testament. And elect is not predestination. Can you give me three minutes? Just three minutes. Just three minutes. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. All right. So... I'm going to read Romans 8 one more time, all right? Romans 8, 29 and 30. All right. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestine to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined, them also he, uh, them he also called. And whom he called, they sorry, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Now, Enoch chapter 1 into the 1. The word of the blessing of Enoch, how he blessed the elect and the righteous who were to exist in the time of trouble. Jacob's trouble, can I say Jacob's trouble? We all know the time of trouble, right? Can I say Jacob's trouble? What are you talking about, Reject- man? Right, and reading, many I'm people interpret people. Jacob's trouble the way they interpret it. Okay. Okay. I'm reading for. I'm There's reading from one the book scripture of Enoch, that says Jacob's trouble. One verse one. Okay. I'm reading from. I'm reading just just to know that this that's the time that this scripture is talking about. So right? this scripture so is talking about Jacob's the, trouble, is what you're saying. No, it's giving when these people will exist, when the elect shall exist during the time of trouble. It's giving a point of time. All right. So I'm asking Reflecting, what you're saying is this is Jacob's trouble is what you're saying, right? What is Jacob's trouble? What do you, when you say this, what's this? No, you're, you, you don't want to brought up Jacob's trouble and you're bringing up Enoch. And I'm saying so you're saying, saying Enoch the, is I'm, talking I'm about Jacob's trouble. trouble. No, he's saying that that's the point of time. This is how they'll know. This is how we will know that he's talking about this time. Then why are you scripture. bringing up Jacob's trouble? <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, All you right. just said this, dude. The, 
You you just said this. Because, I'm, I, I'm because, trying to understand you, because uh, I'm I, I'm asking you. Do you do you under like I'm asking you? Do I you don't understand Jacob's trouble because Christians Jacob's have trouble. a no. Many people have different interpretation of Jacob's trouble. It's only in the Bible okay, one time. Then, then then that's it. Then that's it. The answer is no, man. Why? How did we get here, Daquan? Because you brought up Jacob's here, trouble. I stay with the word. I'm not finna. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not finna make up stuff, and I'm not finna okay, twist then. stuff. Okay, 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 okay. Rejecting all the wicked and ungodly Enoch, a righteous man who was with God, answered and spoke while his eyes were open, and while he saw a holy vision in the heavens, is that the angel showed him, all right? So he blessed the elect which were to exist in the time of trouble. That's a predestination. No, is it don't say predestinate. <laughs> Okay, that's what so you believe that's how you are interpreting my, my predestination all right definition predestination oh my goodness let's look at it let's just get a model get a model that's all right Are you with me, brother? Yeah, I'm right here. Okay. The action of God in foreordaining certain of mankind through grace to salvation or eternal life from Old English predestination and directly from Church Latin predestination, a determining beforehand noun and action from past particular stem of predestination set before as a goal that's exactly what enoch just said one more time enoch no. one in one the word of the blessing of enoch how he blessed the elect how does he how can he bless what does not exist here's how we know and the righteous who were who were to exist in the time of trouble a distant time from him a way distant because this is the distant time he's not alive for thousands and thousands of years and here we are everybody talking about this is the end we're watching the signs and the times and this is the end no this is what everybody is figuring to be. The Muslims are waiting for the Mahdi, and the Christians are waiting for Jesus Christ. No, everybody is. This is on you don't. You don't problem. know what you're talking about. The Christians are expecting okay. two people. Okay, so let me let me let me the, finish the, this. The, let me finish the this. Christians are expecting let me Jesus. This. Hold on, let me finish and this. Ecclesiastes. The, let's go to the, the Muslims are expecting the Mahdi and the Prophet Isa. Okay, man. Sorry for not being pinpoint specific. No, you just keep keep no keep talking, talking, man. I'm letting you talk. Keep on talking. All right. So, Ecclesiastes. Uh, let's go one nine to the eleven. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So that's not clear. That has that nothing to do with predestination. It's not about predestination, no. man. The predestination is already the elect who the elect were from the beginning of time. No. The elect were there. That really. term predestination is something that Christians know nothing about because only Paul talked about that. Now, that word predestinate. In our Bible, how we would call what you're trying to describe is chosen, which is elect, yes. chosen. Okay. Okay. Chosen, now, elect. Okay. Time. Okay. Time. All of it. That's simple and plain. Chosen. You can have an elect come in. Go ahead. What he shall not give his glory to another, but of those whom he predestined to be in the image of his son. Where does it say in the Bible, in the Old Testament, that he's going to make everybody into the image of Jesus Christ? Or is that something or is that a new teaching coming from Paul? No, that's what it says in the whole entire story. It's the elect who are going to be in the image of him. That 144,000 that you won't let me call the elect. Hold on. You talking about. So 
I'm asking, where does it say that we're going to be made in the image of his son? Except but right here. Where does God talk about us being in the image of his son? In the Old Testament. Why does he want us to be in the image of a son? The image of the son. Did, did he not tell Moses that ye are my children? Like you are, ye are my children. Where are we going here in Deuteronomy? Oh. You, my children, we are all the children. The Israel was his child. But what does that have to do with being made into the image of his son? That's new, man. That's new. new? Yeah. Yahushai said that the father is in him. Right? Okay. That's what he said. No. What did did the the, most? Hold on. Just let me finish before you disagree. How do you disagree with an unfinished sentence, man? Bro, you've been yapping this whole time. <laughs> I listened to your old messages in the last two part times. Well, you, okay, you, then, that's then. what you do is you talk. You explain around because you don't have no scripture where God is talking about us being made in the image of his son. That's why you talk. The image of the son is the same as the image of the father because we are created in his image, my friend. This is Genesis, man. And what did the most I say that we shall keep his ways? His ways would mean we are in his image, the image of the father. It's all the same. So being made in the image of the son is being made in the image of the father. We are made in his image. Whose image? Spirit. Whose image? Who you want me to say, God? Y'all serve two gods in Christianity. Jesus is God and God the Father is God. Brother, why do you why do you say y'all serve two gods in Christianity when I've told you a million times I'm not a Christian? Why is, is it? Are Hold you on, yes, you me? are. Your Bible says you are a Christian. In the book of Acts, they were called Christian. Okay, so so if you're trying to say you're not a Christian, I, I, why don't you just say you were real okay, Christian? Okay, fine. I'm I'm a, okay. I'm a Christian, but I have nothing to do with Christianity. Is that better? Does that make more sense? I mean, it's better off saying you're a real Christian, but how are you going to deny something that you are? You're a Christian because I have nothing to do with Roman Catholic doctrine. I have nothing to do with that's all a part to- of the thing. I mean, that- being a Muslim. I mean, how am I going to disassociate, disassociate from being a Muslim just because there are uh, other sects out there? That doesn't mean nothing. That doesn't mean nothing. A Muslim is a Muslim. Even if there's Muslims doing this and doing that, how, how are you going to disassociate from who you are? If you a Christian, you a Christian. Just say you a real Christian. But saying you're not a no, Christian well then, doesn't well make then, no well sense. Then, well then. Well then, if you want me to, if you want me to break it down like that, well then I'm neither. Then if you're gonna, if you're gonna break it down like that, I'm neither. I'm neither Christian, and nor do I serve Christianity. So okay, so let's you are, so you're not a Christian. You're not a Christian. So you bringing up the Book of mm-hmm. Enoch? Okay. No Christian. No Christian would do that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and no, I don't even know. What Israelite camp would agree with you bringing up the book of Enoch? Because don't, they don't, don't even talk about Israelite that. Camp, I don't know what Israelite camp that I agree with. What, what does this have to do with Israelite, Israelite camp? camp. Where are you going, man? Okay, bro. Who cares? I'm, okay, Who okay. Who cares? Go, go, okay, okay. This is me. Is this so me what's the and name? you or so, is this something else? What do you mean by is this something is else? Is this me and you? Yeah, is this me and you, or are we are are we having a are are we having a uh uh your your associated by affiliation type of conversation? I have nothing to do with these things, man. Church, the, your camp, Bible this, says you're a Christian, church. man. That's all I'm saying. No, my Bible my Bible says I'm a son of the Most High God, living God, man. That's what my Bible says, man. I'm His son. That's what it says. So it so call me a Christian. It says that they were called Christian at Antioch when they were mocking them, calling them Christians, my friend. Oh, okay. All right, man. You, okay, okay, okay. They were first called Christian at Antioch, so and then, and then Peter, Peter, Peter. You got Gentiles. 
you got you got you got you got Gentiles and you got people observing the laws of Moses, looking looking at them at that point in time in Antioch. Call it how those Christians following following their Messiah. Okay, man. And it was supposed to be a a a, 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 a title of honor. It wasn't no title of honor. They like were. That. Peter said, "If you suffer for being a Christian." You know, yes, okay. yes. If you suffer for being a Christian, because it's no title of honor, they were mocking them. You Christians, you following your Messiah. That's what they were doing. Oh, okay. lock okay. them up, throw them in prison, kill All right. them. Okay, do something to them. Going, going back to the question: Where does it talk about mm -hmm. us being conformed to the image of His Son in the Old Testament? You brought up Moses. I think he was going to go to something in Deuteronomy, you said. Totally, totally forgot, man. <laughs> I, I ain't forgot nothing, man. I'm holding you to what you say, man. What, what, was, what was the question then, man? You, question? I, you brought up Moses. Talking about we being the children of God, and you said you're going to go to Deuteronomy. When I asked you, where does it talk oh, about yeah, us you... being made in the image of His Son? When we are we are made supposedly from the Bible, we are made in the image of God. So now yeah. Paul is taking us from worshiping God. Now he's making us worship His Son, right? So now instead of being made in the image of God, Paul wants us to be made in the image of His creation, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, say that one more time. Man, come on, man. Instead of being made in the image of God, okay, because mm -hmm. the Bible, the Bible says God made us in his own image. All right? Yeah. We were made in the image of God the Father, right? That's right. Okay, That's so right. now Paul is taking that from us and making us all be conformed into the image of his creation. Which is Jesus. Jesus is someone God created. Okay, mm -hmm. so now instead okay. of being made in the image of the Father, now we're being made in the image of His Son. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, where does it talk about us going from the Father to the Son? Brother, it doesn't talk about that, and you know that. All right? It says that the Spirit of God is within you. His hold, ways. hold his on, man. Why are we talking about? God no, no. Let's is, stay on the topic. We ain't talking about God the spirit is, of God. God. You explaining? We're trying to find out verbatim scriptures where God Almighty speaking by His prophets, speaking by Moses, is saying, "Yes, I want to conform everybody into the image of My Son Jesus." No one is talking like that. There's only one person talking like that. And I believe it to be the wolf in sheep clothing, Paul. He took us from worshiping the Father to worshiping something he created. You may call him Jesus. I call him Prophet Isa. He took us from worshiping the creator into worshiping the creation. Now, in Romans, since you don't have a scripture, I have one. In Romans chapter one. I don't even see how you see that. In Romans chapter 1, it talks about it in verse 21. I want to start off. I want to start off at verse, verse uh, 19. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened, professing themselves to be wise. They became fools. And what did they do? They changed the glory of of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. That's what Paul did. He took us from worshiping the father to worshiping the son. 
He took us from worshiping the uncorrupted God, the creator, into worshiping the image of his son. And to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things, creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Now, the hypocrite who taught us this, who is saying this is the one who is teaching us that God created everything in the world through Jesus Christ. Paul is the one who teaches that God created everything with Jesus Christ. So in other words, God, the father had a co-creator. He had a person help him create the world. Although the Bible tells us that God created the heavens and the earth all by himself. Paul is the one who teaches us to worship the image of his son. That's exactly what he's doing. And that's why I'm asking you, I'm like, okay, show me some scriptures in the thick part of the Bible where God is saying, you know what, you know, I made y'all all in the image of me, but now I want to remake y'all into the image of my son, Jesus. It's garbage. You ain't going to find nothing in there and you wasn't prepared for a discussion like this because don't nobody talk about this type of stuff. Okay, that's why I'm asking you. Now you can understand how I feel when I look at my message and I see a, 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 a text where a brother is saying he shall not give his glory to another, but of those whom he predestinated to be in the image of his son, being the first of many sons, brother. I'm like, hold on. Adam was his first creation. OK, mm -hmm. and and now Adam and did Adam not have glory? Because I think because this is where we got to. And you didn't want to answer the question that that Adam, they bowed the angels bowed to Adam by commandment of God. And I think that you're overblowing this thing by saying it's worship when it's not worship. It's obedience to the most high. Explain what you just because said. Adam, Explain said what you just said. Worship. They were not worshiping Adam. Duh! I know that. We're not talking about that. We're talking right. about the image of his son. Where does God Almighty talk about us through the prophets that we are about to be remade in the image of his son? We already made in the image of God the Father. We are the children of Adam, so we are already the children of God. Already. So how are we going to be remade in the image of his son? Now, that is a lonely sermon. That is a lonely message that only one person talks about it. And it's the apostate or you may call the self-proclaimed apostle Paul. No one talks about this. Jesus didn't talk about this. OK, that's the rabbi. He's supposed to be the rabbi. Okay. Of the Christian church. Yeah. He didn't talk about us all That's being right. made in the image of himself. Let's see what we can find here. All right. Deuteronomy 18, starting at the 17. And the Lord said unto me, they have well spoken that which they have spoken to the 18. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee now the prophet from among their brethren this is him telling of a future prophecy all right i'm gonna say who this is the lord who like unto thee the lord yahweh jesus christ whatever you want to call him how is that right? talking about jesus I christ i will who is jesus christ is not like moses brother say what Let's just say that's who you believe, because I don't believe that. Okay, Jesus okay, Christ okay. is nothing like Moses. Daquan, 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 it's established that you and I, I might believe more of what you believe, but you're never going to believe anything of what I believe. We. I don't just, believe in idolatry. I don't believe in okay. idolatry. Neither do I. Neither do I, my friend. But that's what so you're let's, doing. Let's, you're telling let's, us to let's, worship let's, let Jesus Christ. Let me, let me, let and me, you're lying. Let me. 
Hold on. Let me read it. it I'm, I'm lying. Deuteronomy is lying. Let me read Deuteronomy it. Deuteronomy 18 is I not will, talking about Jesus. I will. I will. According to you, because you don't believe it. You've admitted that you don't believe it. That's fine. How Let is Moses it, and Jesus alike, brother? Can I read? You want it from old? Can I read it? Go please? ahead, man. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, Moses, right? That's who he's speaking to. And will put my words in his mouth, his words. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words. Whose words? The Mosai. It had nothing to do with, with, with Yahweh Shai. It has nothing to do with that. If you want to say they took and deified him over, uh, bro, the Catholic Church did that. No, the Bible did that. No, no, they misunderstood the Bible in order you to You just do said that, his words when right? y'all y'all say that now, Yahweh Shai now, is the word of he's God. Saying, the Most High, the Most High is saying that he's going to raise up a prophet from among the brethren. All right, and and he's saying that if we don't hearken unto his my words, he didn't even say that it's the prophet's words. But ain't Jesus the he's word according to the he's Bible? Saying that the words he's saying that the words that he's going to speak is straight from him, the Most High, through okay, that prophet. Keep going because that has nothing Yahushua. to do with what I'm asking. I will require it of him. All right, I'm so, gonna hold you accountable John, for it. Can we go? Can we go, John fourteen? John 14. What does that have to do with what I'm asking, bro? Yep. That's talking about being John made 14. in the image of his son? Yes. No, it's not. Yes, because, How is that yes, talking because about... If, bro, because bro. If, because he, if you bark in unto his words, you will be like him. He says, from among thee, like unto thee, Moses. Like what? Okay, so explain know, that. Explain... So, so you, know, I'm going to give you a so chance you know, to explain Deuteronomy 18, and then I'm going to explain Deuteronomy 18. You talking the most, so keep talking. You go first. I don't want to get to John, man. No, no, we, right. we right here on Deuteronomy 18. You said that that's talking yeah. about being made in the image of his son when it's talking about a prophet. It says yeah. nothing about son. Context ain't even really son. <laughs> Oh my goodness! You're with you're Daquan. making stuff up, man. Why are you gonna lie on your house making, side like that, man? Daquan, I can read this from Genesis to Revelations, and you'll say you don't believe, bro. You'll you don't you have don't anything, anything to do with the Old Testament. Everything you coming with is from Paul. Nah, that's 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 your assertion, my friend. Bro, that's your I'm still waiting on you to talk about the image of his son, and you can't even do line you, upon line, precept I upon you, precept. I gave you, I gave you one verse in Isaiah, and then three in the New Testament, and that one verse in Isaiah right? about him being made in the image of his son. Oh my gosh, bro! Where does it talk about being made in the image of his son, dude? Dude, I never thought, I never thought we would reach here, man. I never thought this, bro. Bro, if you're going to text me some garbage I mean, like that, I'm going to hold oh, you to I it. Didn't know, I didn't know I didn't know it was pure garbage. Bro. It is. It's absolute it garbage. garbage. I find it offensive that you would even text me some bull crap like that, saying that you know I'm Muslim. You know for a fact Muslims have nothing to do with the letters of Paul. And you're going to text me some garbage talking about being made you in the image of his this. son. You don't have anything to do with the letters of anything in this book. What do you mean by the letters of everything? What are you What are you talking about? We had two discussions, and you said you agree with ninety nine percent of the stuff I brought out. Are you a liar? That was, that was I never, never said I agree was, with any of the stuff you brought out. Those verses and that discussion. That Bro, you said you agree with ninety nine percent of the stuff I was bringing no, out. What I, you what didn't I even have the out, right breakdown for the I parable. We found out here, Daquan, is that you were you were harboring that shit. The whole time and harboring what man? You sent me this bull crap and you can't explain it. Right, 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 right. You've been harboring that since the day I sent it, and this is how I find out. What you mean by harboring? <laughs> I'm addressing it. No, no, you could have addressed it when I sent it. I did. 
Bro, you act like you the chief president, bro. bro, bro and you, I think, bro, I think, I think your baby mama or somebody got you in jail because you can't even talk. You were supposed to call me at eight o'clock. It's nine o'clock, and I'm the one that's texting you. To oh, are we still having this discussion? But you bro, older than me. Yeah, you older than me, and your character, your whole brother, character is off. Brother, Since day brother, one, when you brother, were supposed to call me, brother, when you sent me all those brother, books on my messages, brother, you, I had to get a hold of you for you to talk. Fine. Who are you in my life that you think I'm... Bro, I'm not a cotton candy mother. Christian, bro. I'm holding you accountable who, to this garbage you sent me. Who are you in my life that you think I would place you above my mother? Hold on, bro. Are I'm you? not saying that. I ain't saying that, bro. Who I'm talking about, you? bro, since day brother, one, you've been brother. making excuses. Who bro, you sent me five books on one message. And I didn't delete it. Then you said, mother, okay, we're going to have this discussion. And then I waited for like two, three hours. Then I waited for the next day, and you finally sent the message. Mother, and you're holding a grudge from April 22nd because you never called it bullshit on the 23rd. Bro, you, 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 you know what? You know what, Yatiel? You never call it bullshit. Yatiel, you are you, 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 you are in idolatry, bro. That's the truth. My mother, that's all you want to tell me? That's the truth of the matter me? is, bro, you what? are in idolatry. What? Don't what? ever what? send me what? no what? garbage talking about we supposed what? to be made in the image of, of his son when you can't show me nothing from the Old Testament where it's telling us that. I don't have to show you nothing from nowhere. So you ain't supposed to back up nothing with scripture? I don't got to show you nothing from nowhere. Scripture is the scripture. So, so, Period. you, you, then why did you we go to Deuteronomy? doesn't believe, and I can't accommodate your problem of disbelief. Bro, not on me. where does it talk it about being me. made in the image of his son in the Old Testament? Now, you took me to Deuteronomy 18. And 18, and that's not My talking friend, about being made in the image told, of his son. I, I already I already told you, I already told you we're all made in his image. When he talks about and whose image? image How are we made in whose image, image, man? You don't know? We ain't made you in no know? Jesus image. You don't know? I know because you, you don't, don't know because you serve two gods, man. Because you not. Yes, Nobody you do. You that. that's, Jesus that's, is your you Lord. Know. You just said it. Dude, God is your Lord you and Jesus no. is your Lord, bro. Yeah, you committed idolatry. My and my and my dad and my dad was my Lord when he walked this earth when he walked on the earth too. No, no, died. no. That's going into a first teacher. You just said that Jesus okay. is your Lord. Yeah, because he was the Jesus first. is yeah. your my God. Oh my Jesus God, is your is God and God the Father is your God. You are well, serving two masters, man. That's what, that's, what you're, that's what you're telling me he is to me. Actually. You're serving that's two masters. Everything is recorded. You said the same thing on the last message and I got it recorded yeah, I said and he's everything. My Lord, bro. He, I said he's my Lord. You when said, oh said yeah, we reverence the son, but we ultimately worship God. When yeah. you know for a fact in your life Jesus is God. Jesus is your Lord. Jesus is your God. You have two gods, bro. Just be honest. Really? Yeah. Is it not written that ye are gods? Yeah, and you worshiping your brother. Is it not brother. written that ye are gods? You are worshiping it, your brother Jesus. Is it? How? Who, who am I worshiping, bro? I already told you who I worship for. So for you to say anything less than that, that's on you, Daquan. So, so, Jesus on is, you. so Jesus is not God. Look at you, you quiet, you, you quiet, think. you being recorded, bro. You commit idolatry. You, you commit idolatry, you. bro. Daquan, Daquan, the first it's day Jesus you God, me, bro. You, you don't brother, know the Bible, man. You, first, you really need to, to restudy. First, go back to our first recording, 45 minutes. You asked me the same question. I said, what do you mean? He's not the father. I said, he is not he the, said the father. Fa but you said he, he had is, the father I in said, him. I said, Said he is a a god a a a you know what a means? Then a what if he is a, not the man. father and we're made in the image of the father? Why are we about to be made in the image of someone else who is not the father? Please, what? We're made in the image of the father because we are spirit. Spirit, he is spirit. You know what is inside of your body when you die and your and your body go to the ground and you where 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 do you go? 
Okay, so we being made into the image of his son now. All right, the image of his son is what? To cast away and repent and be be ye perfect. Walk away from all the bullshit. Where does all it say that in the Bible that, bro? You making that up. You oh are doing gosh, interpretation. Man. Oh, my gosh. What oh does it? Oh, my gosh. He can't. What? You're making he, that up. Not, I'm making it up? Yeah. Where, Where does it from? say to be made in the image of his son is to cast away, to repent, and all of that? It don't say it, bro. You don't know your own Colossians, Bible, bro. You Colossians don't. 2:14. Colossians two fourteen. Colossians two fourteen. It don't matter to you because you don't believe it. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven all your trespasses, blotting out the handwriting and ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. The law. What is that so talking what about, now? Bro? The law of the Lord. So what is being made in his image? Love one another. Where does it Go say that? To your neighbor. Bro, Do you are doing interpretation, have, bro. Do unto those as you would have them do. That's the law. The I thought you said he said nailed that, that to the cross, bro. God been told yeah, us that. Nailed, yeah, the Levitical law. What part of the Levitical law is that? No, no, that's in Exodus, bro. No, 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 no. What part of the Levitical law is that? That's Leviticus 19. Bro, all of it. Love your brother is something that's in the law. Why are we nailing that to the cross? He's talking about everybody. Where does it say in the law, okay, you get divorced? He says, no, not for safe for fornication. There's no more writing a bill of divorce. What is he talking about, you're bro? you're unhappy with the wife? Jesus said he did not come to destroy the law of Moses, man. Yeah, you said hang these two. Hang these two because they weren't doing those two. Hold the up. Most, like, bro. You said cast look, away look, 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 and look, repent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said cast hold away on. and repent. Ezekiel. Let's go, Ezekiel. 20. Is it 20, 25? Ezekiel about what? About the heart, man? 24. Man, y'all uh, Christians need to know y'all Bible, bro. You need to have your you need to be on point with your sword, man. But it doesn't it doesn't matter when you don't believe. What you believe <laughs> what, bro? All I'm asking you, you is to show me something where God so Almighty matter. is confirming what matter, Paul man. said. That's all I asked matter. you. You Paul, already lost Paul, your audience when you, you brought up when you, you when you brought up the book oh of Enoch, God. bro. You already lost your audience right there. That was dumb. Okay. That was dumb. Okay. I don't even know why you would even bring that up. You should have just stayed with the Torah and the prophets. But the Torah and the prophets does not talk but about does not to, talk I about us I being made in the to. image of His Son. To. We are made in the image of the me. Father. That's top grade. Man. Why are we going? Why are we yeah. going downgrade when to be made in the image of says, His Son? It's not a downgrade because you're overinflating. You're not understanding. I mean, you're the Christian now, actually. No, you're the Christian now. I have nothing to do yeah. with Christianity. I don't believe Jesus died yeah. for my yeah. sins. Well, well, I don't well, believe well, in Jesus dying on the cross. You guys, you guys, I don't you guys take communion. Stuff. You, you take. You take what the you take what the word says and you blow it up. Oh, no, you he, twisting he, it because, bro, all you are Bible, is mouth. Yatiel, I listen to you. To all you do is crowd. make stuff up. That's why you and your messages and you doing like, hey, just pretend, make believe, I know, and, and, I, and, I, and I want you to make up. believe all that I Jesus said this. And, and no, I ain't all with right. all that. I ain't with all that. What if God He's said, not. no, I ain't finna do the what if. I'm going to do what the word says. Let's stay with the word. Let's quit trying to make stuff up. Where does it say in the Bible that we are about to be made in the image of his son? Except with Paul. No, bro, you don't believe. Okay, you the one that said you agree with 99% of the stuff I'm bringing out. I never once said I believe with any of your garbage. I never once said that. I'm a man of my word. But if you're going to send me a no, scripture believe, talking said, about, if you're going to send me a scripture you know talking about you being made in the image of that's the sun, you know what, I'm going to ask you, close, where does it say I that at? I should just close this book on you, bro. I should just close this book on you, on you, bro, and we should just start talking for real. Dude, dude, 
Are are you okay? Dude, I am totally okay. You're a joke. You Everything right? about you is a okay. joke. Your character is off. You're not, you You're not a man of your word. You're not a man of your word. You you I'll be not a man of my word because I put my mother above you in a phone call. No, bro, I'm not just talking the whole quit 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 exaggerating. I'm talking about listen, since day one when you were sending books on my messages, bro. I haven't called you. You couldn't even yet, confront, man. bro. You was you was afraid to even have a discussion, bro. Every time oh, something with you, bro, you said you was gonna call me just at eight o'clock. You bro, you a little liar, so man. Liar. You are. I'm a liar. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Okay, your character is messed up, bro. Keep on going. Anything else? In this life, you I mean, have. You a, you, clouds, in this life, your word day, is no all day. you have. In this life, okay. that's all you have. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, but when you Ezekiel, believe Jesus Ezekiel, died for your sins, you do bullshit like that. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 20, 20, 20, 20, chapter 20, Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 25. Wherefore, I gave them also statutes that were not good and judgments whereby they should not live. Okay? So that's all of that law that he put to the cross. So no, 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 bro, no, 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 no. You gotta go to the context of that, bro. Mm -hmm. Go to the context of that. So you're saying God's law is not good? No, who said that God's law is not good? That's what you just said, bro. You being recorded, bro. You being recorded. You just said that His law is not good. Keep shouting, man. Who said it's not good? You just took me to a scripture in Ezekiel and said that he gave us statues that it was not good. Okay. So who said it? Me or who? Okay. What who we're saying it? is the Bible says no, that the no, law no. is good. Who said no. It? no, no. Who it's said not it? talking about the Ezekiel word of God. It's not talking about Wherefore, that. No. I gave them also statutes that were not good and judgments whereby they should not live. Who said it? Me? That's a contradiction then. Because the Bible say. says the law is good. The Bible says the law yeah, is the law good. Is, the law is good. You don't believe in Paul. How can you quote Paul and say that the Bible says the law is good? No, that's you in the Bible. Paul. That's in the book of Psalms. I'm not quoting Paul. I'm not quoting oh, Romans. Who's Paul quoting the, I'm who's not quoting. The Bible then? says that the law is so, perfect. Well, who's, Paul quoting, well, who's Paul quoting then? My goodness. Who's he quoting? The law is perfect. So we, oh, so we could think, but he couldn't. Psalms nineteen seven. The law of the Lord is perfect. I'm not quoting you. I'm not quoting your God, Paul. Okay. The I'm not quoting the him. The law of the Lord. The law of the Lord. The law of the Lord. Not the law of Moses. The law of the Lord. Who, Jesus? You know where to find that? In That's Bible? not talking about you Jesus. That's talking about God Almighty. You no. idolater. You you brought you brought up Jesus. Who's the idolater? You're that, the one because he's your Lord. Dude, you, Do you have two lords. When you I say Lord, you don't nobody take you serious. They don't even know who you're talking about because Yahweh Shai is your Lord. So when you say Lord, oh who is you God, talking man. about? Oh my God! If I don't say my, if I don't say Yahweh Shai, my Lord, then you know I ain't talking about him, man. No, bro, that's I'm confusion, man. You Lord. know what, bro? This the is this one. is this is How pointless is because you are an idolater. You're lying. You you talking about? How could Jesus bro, be your I'm Lord and God I'm be your Lord? I do. You know, you know what? You know what, Daquan? I had all these verses them to write down, bro. And, but I knew, I knew something was up, bro. I knew this is what you wanted, bro. This you, is what bro, you, want. you don't bro, want. You, you don't playing want games? You know, you're not in bro, the. You're not I'm in the word like you think this you is are. What you wanted? Come, come, bro. Me you games, send man. me that garbage, come. and you and you taking me to mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 18 and says that's Dude, talking about being in the image of his April son. 22nd. Why didn't you text me and tell me that on the 22nd? Why did you harbor those feelings? And what are you talking about? Why? I told you that. I told you from the gate. No, you go, didn't. Let's go to the messages. What? Let's go to the messages. I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go Blessing. right to the messages. Yes. I said, bro, I Blessing. do not, uh, I do Fair not brother. agree I with think, that. I, I do not agree with that. Let's read the messages. Yeah. This is what you said. Yeah. Um, you was like, um, oh, it's hypothetical and all this 
And and no, I'm no, like, no, look, no, 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 don't, don't, don't jump down there. And let's go, all right? Yeah, let's go. Eight thirty-eight, eight thirty-eight. Him alone being worshipped with no partners. It's about time we have a discussion. Anyways, that's you, all right? We can do the phone, all of that. Okay, here's you. Let's let's, let's go. Let's read you because I this is right after those verses. All right, nine thirty a.m. Then here you come at eight thirty-eight p.m. All right, blessings. To you and yours, family, my brother, yet to L. But wait, you, you're pissed with me. I, I gave you nothing but garbage. I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm stupid. Bro, you were garbage. You, yeah, you, you gave Hold me on. garbage. Hold on. Why didn't you come with that? That's what I'm asking bro, you. So you, I fully don't bro. understand what you're saying. Romans Please 8 chill. is garbage, man. I do, I do better with phone calls because they're scriptures and are, uh, because the scriptures are not connecting with me. Okay, fine. When I say God will not share his glory, that is going into him alone being worth a fine. Okay. Whoa. Why? Where, where was all that that you gave me today in this message? This is the response right underneath those verses. So why were you holding on to it till right now? Because you said, yeah, when I sent it to you, that's how you felt. Bro. What you're saying makes no sense Bro, at me all. Nothing. This Romans is 8 second. has nothing April to do with that. Second. Romans 8 has nothing to do with that. You're calling all types of names on April 26th because of what I sent you on the 22nd. What name did I call you? What name did I call you? But look, you call me an idiot. You call me stupid. You call me all of this today, bro. When I call you idiot and stupid. I did not call you an idiot and stupid. It's being recorded. Well, when you when you when you listen to your stuff back, bro, discover yourself. Discover yourself today. No, yeah, Discover I'm about to play today. it back because I didn't so call you an idiot you, and so I did not I call you stupid. You, I said so what you're I saying. You I said what you're saying is garbage. Well, I didn't call you an yes, idiot. I did not call you I stupid. Said, so, I said, so why didn't you? I said, so you felt that the whole time and you said yes. That's from the 22nd of April. You no, that you just said I yes. called you an idiot but, but, and I called so you, you stupid. Say it was garbage. You said blessings. Hey, I fully don't understand. When you say I don't understand, I don't translate that to you calling it garbage. Only you know you're calling it garbage, bro. Okay, go keep so reading we down. We could have addressed it then. Keep going down. We could have addressed it then, and we never could have gotten to this point for sure. Never. Why? Why? Why are we here? Why are we at this point? Brother. I don't get. That's what I don't understand. But I get it now, Daquant. I get yes, it. Yes, I'm not an adulterer. I do not believe in worshiping two gods and Good. and, I'm and not, Romans. I'm not an yes, you are. Worship, yes, you are. Worship you worship leader. two gods, bro. Yahweh, you can you can make your so you don't worship your That's just unfortunate. So you don't worship your Hawashai. Unfortunate. No, I do not worship your Hawashai. So your Hawashai is not God. Every, to you. Because you don't, because, because worship, there's many forms of worship. What they call worship for one word is all these different translations. What you're losing is all the translations. But hey, people want to hold themselves to one word. Paul says that Jesus was God in the flesh. And you are holding on to those letters, bro. Whether you, just like you didn't yeah. want to admit you a Christian, yeah, you don't want to admit. Yes, like, bro, because it's not my fault. You don't understand. It's not my fault you don't understand that the spirit of God that is in you is actually God himself. Will you let the light shine? That's the question, bro. That has nothing, man, bro. So if you don't so if you don't understand that what is in you is greater than you and you boast yourself in your pride and you got vanity, God is not with you. So God has a God, is what you're saying. No. God is God and God has sons and God has an eldest Well then why son does why do we why why y'all believe that we're supposed to be made in the image of his son don't then? Ask me about why y'all believe because I'm asking them the same thing too, guy I'm not a Christian. You can't unfix things from your hands. Bro, bro, yes you are. You What's said that we are supposed to be made in the image you of his can, son. You can say whatever I, brother, if I tell you I'm black and you keep telling me I'm white, I cannot convince you that bro, I'm black. You I'm know? not going by what you're saying. I'm talking about when you Give me the scripture talking about being made in the image of his son. 
That right there is Christianity, bro. The image of his son is it's his behaviors, my friend. It's his keeping of the word. It has nothing to do with how you are thinking of it, not the way that they think of it. And so, I'm like, my goodness, man. So Jesus died for our sins, so we to, for us to be conformed into his behavior, bro. That is confusion. And you just that is confusing. That no, is confusing. We read the scripture and, brother, I already told you. I didn't say none of that. That's what you're assuming I said, but the scripture done said what went to the cross. To tell me I said anything other than what's in Colossians 2 and 14, then, dude, you're that's a person who put words in people's that's, mouths. That's the wolf in sheep clothing. You're a man who puts words in people's mouths, Daquan? Talking about, talking about, uh, I keep my word, but I'll put words in your mouth. Bro, you a liar. First of all, you said I called you stupid Bro, and an idiot. I'm a liar. Yeah. I'm a liar. Yeah. I'm a liar for what? Colossians 2 and 14? No, you said I called it's you an idiot. You said I called you stupid. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Okay. I stand firm behind what I say. I never said that. That was your mind. I never okay. once said that. Why well, I'm going to call okay. my brother stupid and call you an idiot. I'm just looking at what you sent me where it says we're going to be made in the image of his son and God almighty. None of the prophets is talking like that except the wolf in sheep clothing that you follow. And that's Paul, the Pharisee, the leaven of the Pharisees. He is the one with the leaven of the Pharisees. It is nothing but Paul. Bro. I swear to God, that Kwan, an argument is all you ever wanted, man. I mean, bro, you can it's assume, you hey, wanted. in Christianity, in these Israelite camps, all y'all do is assume there anyway. There you go, there you go. In Christianity, you see, this is what... This, this is what bro, if you believe you Jesus know. died for your sins, sins, that's Christianity, what? man. No matter how you try to sugarcoat it. If I believe in the last and final messenger, the prophet Muhammad, that makes me a Muslim. Okay, if you believe Jesus died for your sins, then you are a Christian, no matter how much you hate to admit it. You're a Christian. No, I believe I believe Jesus died and took it, it to the cross. That's thus dumb as hell. Well, uh, uh, when did God talk about sins. sending Jesus to die for somebody? So God yeah. went from God went from telling everybody that the sons is not going to die for the father and the father is not going to die for the son. And now everybody is going to die for their own sins. But now in the New Testament, you telling me that Jesus died for our sins. That is baloney. That is garbage. If you teach that, you're basically saying God has changed. All throughout the Bible, God's been telling you that the son is not going to die for the father. Who's going to die for the Muslims? Nobody's going to die for nobody's sins. That's garbage. Nobody's going to die for the Muslim sins so that they don't go to hell? Nobody you dies for nobody's sins. That's stupid, man. That okay. is okay. stupid. Okay. Notice okay. what I said. That what you're saying, that belief is stupid. Don't nobody, don't nobody die for nobody's sins. That's something against the Most High. The Most High said, I am the Lord, your God, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Why? I'm not going to kill the sons of Jacob but because of what the fathers have done. He's going to hold everyone accountable for their own sins. That's the God of the Old Testament. The God that never punishes the son for what the father does. But in the New Testament, according to the teachings of Paul, Christ died for our sins. That is baloney, bro. That is baloney. You know, what it was was he was the sacrificed lamb of God, my friend. That's what he was. No, no, God. no. That's garbage, bro. bro. Here, Daquan. That is garbage. Daquan, Daquan, Daquan. Can I read you something? Can I read you something? Read me this what? Is Hadith, this, this is this is Riyad. As Salahin for Bro, why do you why do you mix why do you mix Islam with miscellany? Let help let, you, you, you man bro you is fried. You are okay. fried. Messenger Messenger of Allah said on the day of resurrection Allah will deliver 
to every Muslim, a Jew or a Christian, and say, this is your ransom from hellfire. Uh -oh. That's not talking about, that is not talking about Mother Jesus dying for your sins. Is, messenger of Allah said, there would come people among the Muslims on the day of resurrection, who want to save their lives, I guess, with sins as heavy as a mountain, and Allah would forgive them by becoming Muslims. Okay, that is not talking so about Jesus dying Allah for your saying, sins. Hold on, no, 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 don't, hold on. It's not, why is Allah saying that he's going to deliver up the life of a Jew and a Christian for every Muslim in order to escape hellfire? That is somebody dying for Muslims. No, bro. you interpreting that way. Yeah, yes, you bro. are interpreting yes, it that bro. way. And you're the only one there's I nothing, know that you love Islam, but you, but you, but you Christian. No, bro. Yes, you no, do. Bro. Yes, you do. I oh, never I heard you say anything I, I, bad about I, 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 Allah, yeah. subhanahu wa ta'ala. You always you sending me the, stuff about you, Allah. Is Allah, you, is Allah the devil? My question to you, is Allah the devil? Huh? What are the attributes of the devil? Is Allah the devil? Because what you got a whole lot of devil, mixture man? in you. I think you're okay. afraid of Allah. So, I, I know you are. Because this whole hold time, on, on. this whole hold time, on, you've on, never on. said anything crazy Let about Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, right. and, I, and I thank God for that. I praise God Hadith. for that. Hadith. You're, you're right. I haven't said nothing. Abu, Abu Horari has, and um, the one I read previous has, not me. You're absolutely correct. Okay? On the authority of Abu Hurara, may Allah be blessed with him, who said that the messenger of Allah said, Allah mighty and sublime, he said, pride is my cloak and greatness my robe. Well, who, who has pride? What does the Bible say about pride? You know them verses, but that's how Allah described himself as wearing his cloak. But we hear the ancient of days has a cloak as white, as white, white linen as white. It's white. But Allah's cloak, his robe, is pride. So this is Abu Harari Hadith. No, bro, you, you go, and 40. man. If you, you want, if you, you want, trying to get on the Muslims. Now you're trying to get on the Muslims you you, because you don't have nothing to defend Boom. about Paul being Boom. made in the image of Boom. his son. No, no you asked, pride, you pride, asked and I answered. You asked and I answered. Allah's cloak is pride, Daquan. Pride. Pride. Is he the And devil? what does pride mean? Allah, pride also Allah means elevation. Okay, my friend. Pride <laughs> also means elevation. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the Lord rejected the elevated. But the Lord rejected no, 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 the no. elevated. Pride is, not all, pride is not always a bad word. Not you can have pride in your race. Only, uh, only outside of the scriptures. Only outside of the scriptures. Why does the so scripture in the say Bible that, you're that saying that? So you're really? saying that in the Bible pride is not good, not at all, not one time. I'm gonna show you how much you know your Bible. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how much you know your Bible. So you're saying that the the word pride is always an evil thing. Listen. My robes and he who competes with me in respect of either of them, I shall cast into hellfire, buddy. That is the pride of the greatness of his robe. What pride, what pride does Bro, that? Bro, you, you nitpicking pride. God, pride. God is what, elevated. Okay, God okay. is so the bring, only hold on, one. Hold on. In, compar in comparison to this hadith, show me the pride that doesn't say, believe me or go to hellfire. Show me that pride. And I'll agree with you. Bro. Show me that pride. You, you're going bro, crazy. Show me the good pride. I'm, I'm not finna believe. I'm not pride. finna. Look, bro, you don't even believe the Quran. You don't even believe. You don't and even you don't believe, believe the, the Hades. But show me, show me the pride that doesn't say, if you compete with me in respect of either, I will cast you into hellfire like Allah says. Show me that pride in the Bible that you're talking about. I don't even understand what you're saying, bro. I really don't. You said, you said, is pride in the Bible and can it be good and can it mean elevation? I said, fine, then let it mean whatever, whatever. I, I've never heard pride of it. Pride comes from the word you. proud. You can be proud, but not be prideful. 
You can magnify your race, but not be to the point so where why, your race why is. Didn't, why didn't Abu? Why didn't Abu Harara, which all of the Muslim scholars, all of them, have much respect in this guy? Why didn't he say proudness is his cloak? That's how you. That's how you translate it, bro, in English. That's how you translate it. That's how you translate. Yeah, that's how you translate. We just like for instance, how you you, know you just like for instance, you y'all. Say, is you gonna let me talk, man? How you gonna ask a question and you won't even let me defend my cause? Damn. Go ahead, man. Okay, Go like ahead. for instance, y'all sit up there and say that Allah is a deceiver. Okay. Now that's depending on the I translation. I brought you these two hadiths. No, 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 no. There you go. I brought you these two hadiths. Hold on, one, man. You ain't even let me talk, bro. Bro, I'm hosting. No, man. No, I'm no, hosting. No, I'm, not going, I'm, not going I'm recording there. this. I'm, I'm spending my there. money, taking the time to record this, and you won't even let me talk. Then, then by all means, you the one that's making all these. Act- well, then you know what? Right. I'm not gonna answer that. I, I if you gonna ask me a question and not let me defend it, then don't even ask me the question. No. No, 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 no. You said you're going to show me pride in the Bible. I said, show me the pride that don't look like this. Either you, if you contend with me, you go to hellfire. Show- Hold on. Hold on. You got cut out. So re- repeat all that right back. Number one, nobody's talking about Allah being a deceiver. We're not bringing that here. We're we're talking about the. I didn't. Jesus you didn't even let me finish that part. So that's gone. For hellfire. That's gone. And this pride and this pride that you're talking about. I want you to show me how this pride is a good pride because he's talking about competing with him in respect of either he'll cast you into hellfire. He's not talking about my son did good and I'm proud. No man. He's talking about believing no. me or go to hell. No. Pride. No, that's the, that's what's no. written right here, my friend. I'm I'm not finna go that way with you. I'm not finna to because okay, when I when I try to defend my cause by telling you examples of translations in the word, you got long winded like you normally no, do. You don't like my examples of anything that I say. Or Bro, in the all word, I'm and asking you, I, all I've asked you was to words, show me. You already chopped me down. Bro. No, I asked you to so show just, me where it says so we being real, made in the so image of need, his son. I don't need the deceiver. I know all about Allah the deceiver and how everybody, I know everybody's argument on it. That's great. Talk about these two hadiths right here. No. I'm not going that way with you because you're long with it. You won't Thank let me you. defend my cause. Thank you. And no, I'm letting you. Go no, ahead, no, uh-uh. no, man, you ain't finna make me do what I don't want to do. I said no. Quit forcing that stuff on okay. me. Okay. Now the it's main thing. Stuff, bro, this is your stuff. You ask me if Allah forcing what? This is my response. You ask me. You if still Allah's so you still I going? Said, this is my response. My response is from your Hadith writers that say pride is his cloak, but you, you. I you, sit you up there and told you coming. that pride means elevation. elevation and God and, and, and Allah is, is exalted in might. Okay. Come on. Okay. Allah okay. is so exalted ele- in might. He's who exalted in Allah might. And him, hold on. Okay, that is. So who elevated him and gave him that cloak? He did. He elevated him himself? Yes. Allah is what? exalted in might. Come on now. We ain't doing so this. Himself? We ain't doing this. He, he doesn't have no second man. He doesn't have no trinity. He doesn't he have any himself? of that. He is God by himself, bro. He is exalted in might. He doesn't he worship himself. no one. So then how did he elevate himself? From 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 because he's exalted in might. Allah knows, and you don't know, my friend. That's pride because didn't say. Well, bro, that's your opinion. You know what? I can I can agree to disagree with you. Elevate the throne above the stars of heaven. You're not listen. I just told you that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is exalted in might. Now you're asking me to explain to you. you Hold on, man. Let me talk. You asking me to explain to you. Come on, man. You you asking me to explain to you how he is exalted in might. That's something I don't know. That's something you don't know. No, you said elevated. You said pride. Proud means elevated. Go to the Bible dictionary. Go to the Bible dictionary. Type in pride. 
It has many okay. different elevated. definitions. Exalted, yes, exalted, all of that. He's exalted, exalted. Mike. He's... That's what I just kept telling you, man. What is wrong with you? You Bro. all over the Hades, okay? And we still trying to get you to find a scripture where God says he's going to conform us into the image of his son after we already been created in the image of the father. And I stood up there and, and told, told you, you Allah is told exalted in might. So therefore, he is exalted. We're all in this, being conformed to the image of the Son has nothing to do with the same. We are, we made man in our image has nothing to do with that, my friend. Oh, duh. It, what what, what other together. prophet talks about us being made in the image of his Son, brother? Precept upon precept, line upon line, here there. And they're a little show me line upon line in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Show me another prophet that is saying that we all must be no, conformed no, into the image of his no. son. You no. don't got it. Paul is the one with that teaching. OK, and he is the response. He's, he's going to be responsible for the killing of the firstborn. Like I couldn't I can't even no. talk to you about things because your Bible knowledge ain't there. What you think the killing of the firstborn in Egypt was all about? You have no clue. You don't have any knowledge of that. You don't even have an idea of why God who, who, had who's the, the firstborn. Who, who's the firstborn? Who's the firstborn? The killing of the Egypt, the, the firstborn children, and the killing in, in Egypt. Who's the firstborn? The killing of the firstborn of Egypt. What is that representing? That's what you said. That's what I'm asking you. Just you said who? Come on, man. Is you going to be my okay, repeater so or are you going to explain it? I told you. I, I, don't, I know for a fact you don't. what? You said, I don't know. I don't know who was the firstborn killed. Who what the is killed? that going into? You know, like, for instance, we were told not to eat leaven. Okay. During the Passover. All right. So then in the New Testament, Jesus tells us. To beware of the leaven of the Pharisee. And they thought he was talking about bread. But he wasn't talking about bread. He was talking about the teachings of the Pharisees. So what is that going into? What is all that going into? Why God killed the firstborn of Egypt? What did that represent? Why they were told not to eat bread with yeast in it? You tell me, man. I don't know. I have no clue. How come? I have no clue. What you think it means? You said, what you think it means? Ahead, tell me. No, what you think it means? No. I know I how to no say I don't know. I, I told you. Allah is exalted in might. I, I don't I know how he it. is, but I believe he is. <laughs> Subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, I, I just said I have no, have no clue. Please inform me. Educate me, please. The killing of the firstborn is going into Jesus dying at the last day. In the Hades, in the Hades, it reads that Allah will cause Jesus to die. Don't it say that? You all over all the other Hades. Okay, don't it say he will cause him to die? Because in Islam, we don't believe he died yet, right? Are you, are, are, you, are you about to explain the deception that Allah pulled over everybody for 600 years until Muhammad came? Is that Jesus what never died, man. Jesus never and died. No, because Allah deceived the people. He no, no, Matthew, Peter. Mark, Luke, and John so, deceived. Paul deceived, that Paul deceived you. Paul deceived you. I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. Why, why on earth did Allah make it appear as he did and deceive everybody? Why so did? Be because that's the God out. of the Bible. The God of our Bible deceives people. The God of, the God of which Bible? Your, the God your of your Bible. Deceives people. He dece he deceives people. He wants to deceive. He misleads people. Uh, no, he wants no, to mislead. No, um, 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 sorry. There's, there's. My goodness, man. There's more historians other than Travis Joe Jesus that you guys have not heard of. That have no, no. When I when I say stuff, and I and actually have scripture for it. The of no, I'm not all like you. History. All of that is all of that is factual history. Hold on, hold on, friend, hold on. Listen to me. No, no. Listen to me. When okay. I say God, the God of the Bible deceives people, I have scripture for it that actually says it. I'm not like you that's going to say, well, 
it says the image of his son in the Old Testament and then bring up scriptures where it don't say that. I'm actually going to give I can give you three scriptures in the Bible where God deceives people. Mm hmm. Okay. Get you want it? Let's get it. All right. Yep. I ain't finna. I, like I told you, I love key words. If you're gonna say image of the sun, I want to hear image of the sun. Okay. Now, let's get that. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you three. And I wish I can get that out of Christian. I, I wish I could get them to show me one scripture, two scripture, three scripture, but they only show me one. The first one is going to be Jeremiah 20, verse 7. Jeremiah 20, verse 7. Oh, Lord, thou has deceived me and I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I and has prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mock of me. So Jeremiah is saying God deceived him. Let's get another one. Because I said God deceives people. So I want to see if those key words are going to be in this next one. This is going to be Jeremiah 4 and 10. Oh then Jeremiah 4 and 10. Then said I. Ah. Lord God. Surely thou has greatly deceived this people. All right, that's two scriptures. Ezekiel uh, fourteen okay, nine. You shall, yeah, by saying ye shall have peace and have, but 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 wait. Why the Bible you, said, the hold people? on, man. If you gonna let me give you my third scripture, let me give you my third scripture. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let you keep everything out of context, bro. I'm gonna let you keep everything. Bro, out the of Bible context. is saying that God deceives. It says it three times by two different prophets. Now Ezekiel, it says, in Ezekiel 14, 9, it says, and if the prophet be deceived, when he have spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. Now that's God telling you that he deceives. How else are you going to interpret that? If a prophet be, if, if a prophet be deceived, when he have spoken the thing, I, the Lord, not Jesus, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. Now, if you could show me something like that in the Old Testament where it's talking about the image of the sun, I wouldn't argue with you. Okay? But that's three scriptures. Not to mention the story. When God put a lying spirit in the mouth of Ahab's prophets. Okay? God will deceive you. He deceived many of you into believing Jesus died. He, he deceived many of you into taking lords and additions to God. Right now, I bet you you believe that you're right and I'm wrong. I bet you believe that you are right and I'm wrong. But what if God has deceived you into believing that he has a partner that you can associate him with? What if God has deceived you? And Jesus even said many will say, Lord, Lord. And he will say, I never knew you. That's not talking about the Muslims. That's not talking about the Buddhists. That's not talking about the people in Israel. That's talking about the Christians. Those who believe in doing the works of Christ. Jesus will disassociate himself with you. So, so calling him Lord. He was talking... So he was talking all that about people that no, didn't no. Exist. First, first, they give me peace. First, before you change the subject, first, give me <laughs> peace. Give me a clap, okay, you know, because one. I actually you showed you a scripture one. where it says what it says. Don't don't hate Which the player. I said let's, something let's I and I and okay. I showed you it. I said let's God deceives you. people, and I showed you scripture, not lip service for it. I didn't take it to a scripture and interpret it and try to make it say something. You want to, do you want to deal with Ezekiel? Ezekiel? Bro, it says, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. Now, are you going to twist the words of the Most High? How did he deceive him? Did he deceive him by talking to him? He deceived him because he gave him the wrong words to say. Is that is that is that is that what you believe? Read it. Let's read it. And if the prophet be deceived, 
when he have spoken mm -hmm. a thing when he have spoken a thing I the Lord have deceived that prophet now we don't have to be dummies okay and, and you don't have all to right, make so, it say right. something it's telling you what okay. it says look at it in another okay. translation it will tell you the Lord okay. has deceived that prophet because the word that he spoke was the words that the Lord put in his mouth and we All have right, an well, example see, of that. See, Hold see, on. We have an example see, of that in the story of Ahab. When the spirit came forth and said, when God asked who will persuade Ahab to go up against Ramoth Gilead. And the spirit came forth and said, I will go and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And God right. said, go so and got, do, so you it. shall Hold prosper. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So who did the deceiving? Because somebody had to get permission from Man, God I, in I, order I'm to done, do bro. it. I, I, you know what? You're I got done, about, I got done. about, I got about seven minutes Listen, before I go on, pray. I got go, about seven go, minutes. Before, no, I got about seven do, minutes do, before do, I go do pray, bro. 18. Deuteronomy 18 for your Ezekiel. Can I do that? Can I do Deuteronomy 18 for your Ezekiel? What is he talking about? Uh, let me do it then. All right. So you say you by your definition, by your understanding, you said God deceived him by speaking into his by speaking. God, no, don't twist what I said, man. Let me say what I said. Okay, let me let me say what I say. OK, OK, okay go ahead. God has the ability to put the words in the mouth of his prophets. But because God is mm -hmm. sovereign, when someone speaks falsehood, when someone speaks a lie, God also authorizes it because God creates good and God creates creates evil. The Bible says in Isaiah, I, the Lord, do all these things. Oh my goodness. God is sovereign. Guys, Juan, that's not what you said before. And all you explained is everyday life with every person walking, telling the truth and lying, bro. So can I just do this? That's all you explained. Bro, you can do All whatever you, you got to do. Like I told you, every day. you can say what you want to say. I got two minutes okay, now. 18, time to pray. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 18 and 20. But the prophet which shall presume to speak, presume. Presumptuously. Which means which means they're talking on their own. That's how they're deceived. They're talking on the, they think They think they're getting word, but they ain't getting shit. All right? So you're saying that God is not the one who put the, the breath in his mouth to be able to say that? What I'm saying is Deuteronomy 18 and 20. What I'm saying is Deuteronomy 18 and 20. What, here's what I'm saying. Deuteronomy 18 and 20. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded. He didn't even talk to him. Which I did not command him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. So my friend, once again, no. That's a no. big no. No. In Ezekiel. No. Yeah, you can no. say no. In, in Ezekiel, the Bible says, well, then you got a contradiction. If you deal with it, it's your Bible. Okay, y'all apologize no, there's, for there's every... No there's no contradiction in the, the Bible. The Bible says, I, the Lord, that's have deceived that prophet. That's a spirit that went before the Lord. So wait a second. So when, so when you could bring that to, you could bring that to Job... You could bring that to Job when Satan was walking oh, to and fro on you, the earth. You know they and he will. said, how about I, I gotta, serving I Job? How about right I, now, if I take away stuff from bro, Job, Bro, I'm telling you, I got to pray Lord, right now. Lord said, I'm not a man worshiper, man. You're just going to have to hold. Because I told you I got to pray. Brother, that's all you got, and you don't even got that. You that's all you got, and you don't right got that. You can keep running your mouth. Brother, that, that's all you got, and you don't even got that, man. All right, my God, my God does not wear a pride of my father in heaven does not wear the pride, the cloak of pride, my friend. He wears a white robe, period. Period. You don't wear no cloak of pride, man. Not my God, not my most high God, the creator of all things seen and unseen, my friend. He don't wear no pride. All right, he comes to destroy the proud. <laughs> So however you wanted to find it and look for it in scripture, there's still the scripture that says, yeah, he, he destroys the proud. A, a haughty look and a proud look, the Lord hateth. That's an abomination to him. Straight up. And you know that. So whatever it is, Daquan, man, you got what you came for, man. I wish, I, I, I wish that you didn't. I wish that you didn't come for this. But you got what you came for, man. We don't even need these scriptures. We really didn't even need them. There was no point.
You got what you came for, ma'am. Allahu Akbar. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahmanir Rahim. Who's yours, ma'am? Malik Yawmiddin. Let me know. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina as-sirat al-mustaqim. سراض الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المهضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين إن أعطيناك الجوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبدر الله أكبر سبحان رب العظيم سبحان رب العظيم سبحان رب العظيم سنع الله لمن حمد ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر سبحان رب الأعلى الله أكبر رب اغفر لي الله أكبر Why did it have to be done in order for you to be saved from hellfire? Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbi Al-Alameen. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Malik Yawm Al-Din. Iyaka Na'abidu wa Iyaka Nasta'in. Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim. Sirat Al-Ladheen An'amta Alayhim. غير المهضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر سبحان رب العظيم سبحان رب العظيم سبحان رب العظيم سنع الله لمن حمد ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر رب اغفر لي الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر التحيات لله والصلوات والضيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المهضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين الله أكبر سبحان رب العظيم سبحان رب العظيم سبحان رب العظيم سنع الله لمن حمد ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر رب اغفر لي الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر التحيات لله والصلوات والضيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم 
في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Assalamu alaikum. Yes, sir. All right, I'm done with my prayer. You can go ahead and keep talking. You was talking about pride. No, I'm actually with my family right now, bro. So uh, I figured you had to go. Process. I figured you had to go, man, because you know. Uh, at that point, you were the one bro. who was running from me, and I said, "Bro, how, did, how was I running from, 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 from the beginning, bro? That's how because you are." Because you said you're done. I'm gone. I'm gone. I had to hold you on the phone to be like, "Let me do this," but it don't matter. Hold on, what bro. I, do, I told bro. you I had to pray. I don't. I'm not in idolatry like you. I can't I'm put sorry. you before my prayer. There you go with the there you go with the insults. Okay, keep bro, it, that's keep true. It going. You worship oh. two gods. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go ahead and get with your family because that's the type of dude you are. And I noticed that there's guys like that that have the liberty to move and and, and break free and do what they got to do. But there's some people that are in jail, man, and you one of those dudes, man. All right, mm -hmm. so I'll let you go, bro. Now, I got to be 100. I can be merciful, you know, but at the same time, I can be straightforward. Ever since day one with this guy, it's always been something that was not consistent with a man of good character. Because he was commenting on my video, book after book. So I said, let's have a discussion. We set a time and date. He changed it. Then we set another time and date. And I had to keep on texting him back, holding him to his word for him to respond. OK, and every time I talk to him. It's like he's handpicked. It's like he's in jail. It's like he's in prison. And I see through that because I'm from the streets. You can tell when people got that liberty to move and when some people don't got that liberty to be to move. And he the one that made a date for us to talk. And then he said, oh, my mom's doing a surprise birthday party. Now, in Israelite camps, they don't even celebrate birthdays. They believe that's evil. OK, so then he had to change it for another day. And then after that, we, we made a time for eight o'clock today. Eastern time, his time. It rolled around to nine o'clock and the dude didn't call. He didn't text. He didn't say anything. I had to text him and call him. For him to respond. And he finally responds. And he couldn't prove any of the stuff he was bringing out. That God wants us to be conformed into the image of his son from Moses and the prophets. He brought up Enoch. Which was very off. And most of the Christian world. As well as Israelite camps. Don't even accept the book of Enoch. And he could not prove it. He couldn't tell me how Jesus and Moses was alike. And. You know, he wanted to start picking on Islam, talking about um, Allah wearing a cloak of pride or something like that. Well, this is the thing. Allah is exalted in might. And even in your own Bible, in Isaiah chapter six, it talks about the most high wearing a coat, a train filling the temple. 
Isaiah chapter six, verse one. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up. That's pride, brother. God is the only one who can be pride. He's the only one. He is exalted in might. He is high and lifted up. And his train is going into his garment. <laughs> Fill the temple. Now, God is high and lifted up. So let's go to another precept. And this is going to be in Isaiah. Because the Lord is high and lifted up. This is going to be Isaiah 66. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you will build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things have my hand made and all those things have been made, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and tremble at my word. So although the Lord is high and lifted up, he will dwell with those of a contrite spirit. And there's more scriptures in there, preferably in the Psalms. His name is the Most High, man. <laughs> His name is the Most High. He is high and lifted up. He is the only one that can be pride. Okay, because he is high and lifted up. And his train or his garment fills the temple. That's why he always humbles man, because man cannot lift himself up. Man has to be humble because man has a God. Although the Lord is high and lifted up, he will dwell with those that be of a kind, trying spirit. The Lord is the most high forevermore. So many, so many scriptures. Who is like unto the Lord our God? Who dwelleth on high Psalms 138 and 6 Though the Lord be high Yet hath he respect unto the lowly But the proud he knoweth afar oh, Those are the ones who want to be like him That was Lucifer's biggest mistake He wanted to be like the Most High But the Most High said You shall be brought down to the sides of the pit